Hey guys, welcome again back to my channel, Mike's 84 Corvette. I'm Mike, and this is the only channel on YouTube devoted to my 84 Corvette. It's true. Anyway, in this episode, we finally, hopefully, cross your fingers, tackle that stupid antenna, get it working right, and uh, take a look right after this. <music> Hey guys, this is where I'm at with the antenna. I bought this new lot of uh, this power wire. And then I made new splices. I did all, took the old ones apart, made sure they're all nice and tight. And they fit well. And then did the uh, heat wrap, heat shrink wrap again, all the way around. And then I also tested all these connections. This is a brand new connection right here. It came with this. This is actually for, it's not really Corvette specific. I think the end was uh, really designed to run all the way up to a different radio, but I figured, hey, if I screw up, I got a lot of wire to make, uh, to make it right. So uh, I'm just gonna tuck that in somewhere. I'm not gonna re-splice it now. But um, let's, uh, it's all plugged in. Uh, let's give it a shot. Let's turn everything on. All right, so there it is. Hopefully you can see that. And where did I put my keys? I lost my keys, hold on. Ah, found them, found my keys. In my jacket pocket, of course. Look at that. Turn around, let's see. And look at that, unbelievable. So the antenna works. Why didn't it work before? I don't know. Maybe it was jammed on something, but <clears throat> I'm going to put it all back together. Maybe it was the ground strap that wasn't tight enough. I don't know, but uh, it's working. Let's turn it off again. All right, let's get back to it, put everything back together. So I got everything all put back in. Excess wiring is there. Of course, all the trim and carpet's got to be tucked back in. Antennas in there. And then back in there. Let's see if I can shine some light in there. Just going to zip tie the extra cable, extra wires in there. It'll be fine. And then uh, put the... Uh, turn signals and brake lights back in and all the other parts. I've already been through this once before. So uh, hopefully everything goes smooth and then I will uh, do a final test. But, you know, as I went along doing this, I made sure I tested it at every point. Every point. I also used my uh, multimeter <clears throat> on this here just because I wanted to make sure that you know, electricity was flowing through, nothing was broken or anything. And that kind of at least gave me the confidence that everything was okay. So uh, let's start putting everything back together. So guys, once again, everything is all put back together. All the trim back in, everything tucked away nicely, hopefully. Lights are back in, license plate antenna right there so let's give it one final test hopefully everything will work so keep your eyes on that i'm kind of in a weird position there we 
go. All the way up. And all the way down. So cautiously optimistic. That's gonna do the trick. And then my next project, you see that? Volts, 9.3. That's not good. That's coming up next. Thanks everybody for watching. Talk to you soon. Thank you.